Hello, I am Charlsey with Photography by Charlsey, where I firmly believe that life is too precious not to capture it. I hope that you have enjoyed this challenge. I hope you are thinking more of grabbing your camera and taking snapshots of the people and the, um, the times of celebration and the things that you want to remember, all the things you love. That was the whole point of this challenge, is to focus on the good that is in front of us every day and not listen to everybody else that's talking about all the things that they're unhappy about. We can make a difference. We can change the conversation and that's what we're here for. So, but before we go on any further, I would like to let you know, if you do not know already, you can go to my website, photographybycharlesc.com. Um, and on the top right hand corner, you'll see two things that have a place where you can click. One is this photo challenge, which will be disappearing very soon. And the other one is a free guide. If you would like to take a little bit better pictures of with your phone or with your expensive camera, there's a guide for you that might help you take some great pictures. Um, after today, or we have one more week. Can you believe only one more week? After next week, I still will be posting videos. They will not be on Facebook. They will be on my YouTube channel where, again, photography by Charles C starting to see a pattern. Um, I will still be continuing making weekly videos. They won't be in this exact format. Um, I'm going to be doing a series on how to take better pictures. Um, I'm also teaching a class and there'll be some information if you're interested in um, using, if you have a camera in your closet that's got a bunch of bell knobs and whistles that you don't know how to use, I'm teaching a class called bell knobs and whistles so because i have so many people that just say hey i've got this camera and i'd love to know how to use it so um if you do not already know i'm already a photography teacher i teach um uh, two homeschool classes here in wise county they're live classes and you guys will be the first ones to get it online and the advantage of that is you can replay it if you want to stop and take notes or you didn't catch something and you'll have access to that to re-listen to. So if you're interested in that, be sure and sign up for the photo tips or um, send me, if you send me a message on Facebook, sometimes I do not get them. I've had some very unhappy people that have said, um, I sent you a message via Facebook and I didn't hear back from you. A lot of the times I am not getting them. So um, there's a way to email me from my um, website or you can um, just, um, directly. I think I have my phone number up there that you can um, text me directly if you're interested in taking that class. So, but I'm ready to get down to business. I am so excited. So before we started, I have been talking about some of these names have been coming up over and over again. Some of these names, um, y'all may not know each other, but I feel like you may know each other a little bit better. I got Christmas cards from a couple of you and I wanted to share two of them that were my very favorites. I am married to a postmaster. You think there would be some law that the postmaster's wife should, you know, send out mail, but I don't. I used to try very hard to send out Christmas cards and I have given up, but I have been inspired. Maybe next year I will send out a Christmas card because these were so great. Um, Eve Roberts, we have talked a lot about Eve. She's had a lot of great photos. She had this fun Brady Bunch photograph and I didn't ask her permission to share. I hope she doesn't mind. I will take the video down, Eve, if you don't like it, let me know. Um, but I thought this was such a fun way because this pretty much symbolizes 2020. We're all in our little Zoom boxes this year. You guys have also heard me talk about Debbie and how she hand makes cards and sends them out to a lot of people in our church. And she sent me one this year for Christmas and look at the detail on this. I don't know if you, the, the, the computer's not gonna do it justice, but can you see the detail in this little card and the stamp on that? And look at the pretty paper. Oh, isn't that pretty? And oh, look, oh, I had the little cute little, um, what are those little guys called? I can't remember. They're not porcupines, hedgehogs. Are they not adorable? And then on the back, she's got her information if you want to um, buy cards and stuff from her. She is amazing. So, well, I, do you still sell cards or do you have classes? I may be advertising a business that Debbie does not have. So Debbie, comment down below if you're like, absolutely not, Charlesty, please don't do that. But anyway, she does beautiful, beautiful cards and I know she makes a lot of them and I know she shares them freely. So I am ready to get down to pictures. This is our second to last one. And let's see what we got. The first one, I'm so excited because this first picture I did not share, 
but it is of my mom. Um, the, let me go back one. The challenge of the day was laugh. And if you know my mom, you know that's one thing that she does a lot of. I love that Rebecca shared this image of my mom laughing because she laughs a lot. The second one, <laughs> This is Dawn and her family being silly. I thought that was hysterical. Great picture, Dawn. I love it when people take funny pictures. Um, this one is of Rachel. Yo, you guys have all these great pictures of your family hamming it up. I don't have any pictures like this. I need to get a ham it up picture with my family. Good job, Rachel. I love, is that your daughter's blue hair? Oh, I love it. Okay, this, I didn't put Debbie's name on here. This is Debbie's best friend's granddaughter. And she was talking about how her laugh was just infectious and it was beautiful. And I loved that. Um, apparently she has a beautiful laugh. There we go. Monday was music. I was very interested to see how everybody would interpret this because I knew there was going to be several different ways to go about this. Dawn posted, um, um, oh, I can't think of this band's name. King and Country, is that correct? King and Country, I know their music, they're really good. And she got to see them in a concert. That got me to thinking, I think the last concert I went to was with your Straubin. And I, were you there where we went to see Six Flags and they had um, like, I think you were there. I think it was you, Javon and Robin, where they had um, a few Christian artists at Six Flags. Yeah, it's been that long since I've been to a concert. So yeah, I don't get out much. <laughs> this one was Rachel. I thought I had everybody's name on here, but I remember this was Rachel's daughter. And she said that she got to sing in front of um, a Christmas song in front of um, her school and um, said she did it beautifully. And I looked close. Is she wearing a mask? Did she have to wear sing wearing a mask? I hope I did not see that correctly because that would be a challenge. Let me know. I'm like saying all this stuff and y'all be like, y'all fix me and correct me because you know me. Uh, Nettie said that she remembers her mother playing every day. And I love how she framed. Um, are those movie posters? Oh, I love movies. But she took a picture of her piano. I've always wished I could play piano and that she has such good memories. I love that. Uh, Debbie posted lyrics to one of her favorite Christmas songs. It's called Be Born in Me. And she said, if you do not know this song, um, go listen to it on YouTube or all whatever social media or whatever you can do. She is correct. This song is absolutely gorgeous. I love this song. Um, Rebecca posted, you can see a little red circle right here. That is her niece, her daughter, which is my great niece. Rebecca is my niece. This is my great niece. And they were doing a Christmas concert at the church. And so um, that is their tradition there. I love that. I love singing in choir. I did. Alto's rule. I'm just kidding. Tuesday. Well, not really. I'm kidding. Okay. Tuesday was under the tree. And I just think it, I think it's, I think it's interesting, different angles and different ways people do this. Um, look how they're all like, like all the blue packages together and all the green packages together. Rebecca, that's very organized. Does each person get their own color of paper? I might have to do this from now on because I have OCD tendencies and um, I think I might do that. That's very inspirational <laughs> for me. And this was Debbie's and she said, she was like, she's keeping it simple this year. She just used gift bags. And Samuel actually asked me this year, he goes, mom, why are, because sometimes my mom's gift is in a gift bag. He's like, why are mine and dad's gifts never in gift bags? And I'm like, because you little turkeys will peek. And I'm right. So I tape those things down like Fort Knox. So Nettie posted this and she said that she was very happy this year. They very much have simplified things and um, it just made things a lot less stressful for her. I think that is wise. I think I need to do that. This year was a bit hairy. Samuel had a lot of gifts under the tree, but they were all like nerd t-shirts from, from, tar from Target. It wasn't anything exciting. Dawn's tree looks absolutely, everybody's got all color coordinating paper. Y'all are lovely. Um, I had to put this picture up. This one is from Samuel. Um, as many of you know, my youngest son, Samuel, has high functioning autism. He's very high functioning. He's very um, articulate and very bright. He reads 
uh, voraciously, and by that I am not exaggerating, that I could talk for hours about how much he reads. Um, but he actually spent his own money and bought a gift for me and bought a gift for his father. And this is the first time he actually spent his own money on somebody else at Christmas time. If you knew Sandler, you would know what a big deal this is. I think other autism moms might like, yeah, um, they tend not to be thinking of others. That's not his jam. And um, it was a big deal because he's, that's not his normal thing. And I was very pleased. And he was like, he was telling me that he appreciates how perfect my wrapping is now because that's the first time he'd ever wrapped a present. So I was very proud of him. Uh, Wednesday was festive. This was fun. Um, oh, there was my tree. Um, me and my color coordinating packages. Um, they were all t-shirts. Nothing exciting here. Uh, Dawn had a, uh, she had Santa and an RV camper. And I am so jealous. Do you have an RV camper or did you just, is this a cookie? I have so many questions. I have so many questions. I want to like buy an RV. Actually, I want to buy a tricked out, I want to buy a tricked out van. If you haven't seen it yet, go to van life or hashtag van life. I think I've mentioned that before. I'm not kidding. I want to live in a van. My husband says he has a job and we can't go run off and live in a van, but that's what I really want to do. I want to go live in a van and go take pictures of all the national parks. He won't let me, but a camper would be the second best thing to go live in a camper and travel. Glenn's not all about leaving his secure job to go live in a van. I'm not sure what's up with that. Weird. This was Nettie's. Nettie, at first, I thought these were actual cookies, but this is a platter that somebody had made, and each one has one of her children and grandchildren's names on it. And she said there was one that was born after this was made, and I'm like, let's get a Sharpie and fix that, because I think it was um, Lola that did not have her name on there, and I'm like, let's fix that, because she is precious. I've met her. Um, this is my friend Eva. I knew her from way back in the day in Wichita Falls. Um, um, Brian um, served our country and we all thank you for that, Mr. Brian. And he is with his friend and they're wearing their Santa hats being, or Santa t-shirts being very festive. I love that they got to spend time with their friends. Um, Thursday was tea tr tree topper and not, we're getting very close to Christmas and not as many of you posted, but I was very interested to see everybody's tree top and there wasn't that many because we're all so busy, but um, Debbie's daughter replaced the angel with this cute little dog. Uh, that is adorable. And um, this one's mine. I put mine on there um, because this was a new one for us. We've only had this one. I think this is the second year. Last year we had one that the, the wings would move and it used to freak Samuel out because it was moving. So we had to unplug the angel. <laughs> But anyway, I thought that was a funny story. This is Dawn's pretty tree topper. Very beautiful angel. Um, oh, I have tree topper on here. Friday was not tree topper. I didn't change that. What was Friday? I don't know what the theme is, but we have a beautiful picture of Dawn's face. I think, it, oh, what was Friday? Was it celebrate? I think it was celebrate. I don't think I changed the thing. It was celebrate and she's celebrating with her family all in front of Christmas decor of course. Yes, it was definitely celebrate, and I'm sorry I didn't change the slide. Uh, this is Debbie, and she, of course, was wise to mention that we're celebrating the birth of Christ. Um, someone said something, I, had to, I corrected somebody this week, they said, well, Christmas is about spending time with family. I'm like, well, actually, it's about Jesus, um, technically. Yeah, there's that, so, um, but I love that she has a Bible verse on there. That's wonderful. Um, I celebrated with my family. I was so excited. I do not get to spend very much time with my oldest son, Ethan, and my grandbaby, Peyton. Um, Ethan's girlfriend, Jamie, is not in the photo. She wasn't feeling well. She's expecting my second grandbaby, which I may have mentioned before that I'm getting a grandson. Did I mention? I think I did. <laughs> this is Eve and her two of her daughters. Aren't they lovely? Fun, fun, fun. Saturday was quiet. It cracked me up. Nettie is like, there's no quiet at our house. It was hilarious. Um, Eve said she stumbled upon a quiet moment with some deer. I have never seen such a large herd of deer in this area. And I've seen like six or so, but not that many. What a, I'm glad that she captured that image. That's awesome. Um, Becca said she had a quiet minute. Kids are asleep. House is clean. And just enjoying the tree. Same thing with Dawn. <sighs> Stop and breathe and enjoy. And I love that she has this fireplace. 
thing on our TV. I don't know if it was a channel or what, but that's interesting. Uh, she, Debbie said her house was not quiet either, but her cat snuck off and found a quiet place to rest. Well, guys, thank you so much for participating. It means so much to me. Um, if you would like to encourage a small business owner, um, please um, like their Facebook pages, be sure and um, uh, thumbs up and share their pages. You don't know how important that is until um, you own a business, how important little things like um, interactions on social media is and like liking the Facebook page and commenting and, and just friendly word of mouth. It means so much to all of us small business owners. And so thank you for participating. I found it really encouraging. I struggled a little bit with anxiety at the beginning of this year and or the middle of this year. And I'm not one to struggle with anxiety. And so for people that struggle with that on the daily, I can't imagine how difficult this year was for all of all, all of them. So I know some people have handled it differently and have been fine, but um, I had, it was a challenge for me for a little while. Um, and I appreciate everybody's love, support, and encouragement. Um, I love that you joined with my philosophy on sharing the good. So thank you for being here. Next week is our last week with the challenge, but I will continue to be on YouTube. I hope that you will like my channel, give it a thumbs up and follow me, ring the little bell and be watching the video. I'd love to teach you a little bit about photography. Hopefully you'll make it a passion as much as mine is. And if you have any questions, be sure and let me know. And if I made any mistakes, be sure and tell me down below what I did wrong. <laughs> I will see you guys next time. Bye.